The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Welcome to this episode of Pit Life Barbecue. Gather around the pit with your hosts, Johnny Mags and Messy Mike. Let's talk barbecue. Hold on. There we go. There, there, there I am. What's up, everybody? Coming to you live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe in Salem, New Hampshire. It's the Pit Life Barbecue Podcast, where we talk everything barbecue and a lot of, lot of other topics you talk around the pit. As always, I'm joined by Messy Mike. Howdy. How's it going? Good, how are you? I can walk. That is, I'm sort of. So happy. I thought I was going to have to do the show with you remote. <laughs> Which- <laughs> well, let me tell you, we, we were, we would, I was doing this remote as of... Yesterday. Nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, went to the doctors, the surgeon there, and... So there is a guy. Bent me this way, bent me that way, wound up just hitting me with uh, some cortisone and gave me one of these bionic redneck braces. Nice. And then she goes, okay, now stand. Screw you, stand. <laughs> <clears throat> I know, I've already tried this. I know what happens. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Stand up. Stood up. Yeah. So how long does it last, the cortisone? Like- I have no idea. Okay. This is the first time I ever really okay. got the cortisone. So, quick question, Ed. Have you ever yeah. heard of, so, the cortisone shot? Yeah. Um, it's a family show, remember? I know, I know. It's it's a numbing agent, pretty okay. much. So, have you ever heard of a thing called, um, not the technical term, but it's called a cock shot? No. Okay. It's it's from the, um, whatever you want to call it, from the, like, I think it's a male rooster. Yeah. That thing that hangs. Kind of a... Gizzardy, yeah, and it's um, so they is. shoot it into your uh, knee or what, almost like a cortisone shot, but it's not a numbing agent. It actually fills it kind of with a cushion, and it huh. lasts, I think, like six to eight months. Wow! So it doesn't do more damage to your knee, um, but it's also. I think Johnny so, needs a cock shot. I kept, I kept telling him, <laughs> ask the doctor, and he thinks I'm joking around. Hey, I'll, <laughs> start, with, I'll <laughs> so. start with this. You know, they gave, like you said, as long as they didn't, they didn't say I needed surgery, so. <clears throat> I was happy. Mike, no, it, it sounds like a trick. Johnny will go in and say, can I have, can I have <laughs> I a cock, cock shot? shot? <laughs> and he'll get yeah. punched in the balls. <laughs> what I'm gonna get, yeah. um, next thing you no, know, I'm going to have to register, <laughs> and I'm going to get hit with me too, and all this stuff, and you're giggling in the corner. No, 100% though. Check. Just look it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, That's going in the show notes. <laughs> you know, so they well, said, you know, do this. Gonna, I can't deliver. I can go back to work, Yep, so which cool. was nice. Yep. Um, I can't deliver for two weeks. Okay. But in, in that time, I got to do, but I can go in, stand, yep. you know, set up my route, pull it down so I can do a whole bunch of routes. And what, do you, what about your weekend activities? You can still do your weekend activities? Yeah, you can drink. It doesn't, you're sitting down <laughs> drinking, <laughs> doing this thing. But like Sunday's no activities, besides church, Sunday's activities, you can do Sunday's activities. We're all as set. As far as I know, I okay. can stand. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. You know, I ain't yep. running no marathon. Okay. You know, they don't, obviously, they, I can't walk. They don't want me walking that, you know, whatever the hell I walk to 12, 13 miles every day. Yep. You know, you wouldn't know it. Yep. But that's what I do, apparently, by what the phone says. So, you're off your feet for two weeks. Are the folks just going to have to wait for their mail? No, or? no. They'll piece it off. And, like, all my extra, the overtime yeah. I do, that's... The, they'll right. take mine out and so you'll get the do it that way. You'll get the assistant mailman. So your stuff will be wrong. You'll yeah, be you missing. won't get the real guy. No. Oh okay. no, you'll, you'll, you if you if whoever's doing mine, it'll be fine because I'll set it up and send it out with them and go just uh, do it. Oh, okay, you know, Instead so of, there'll be no question on my route. Yep. yep. Ooh, I like you know, it. So yep. then I'll so then I'll stay there in the office and do a couple other more couple more routes, and then. Uh, Got to hit phys- physical therapy for two weeks, they said. So so you'll make yourself useful. Yeah. It's better than staying inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, believe me. I, I spent crazy. enough time in that living room of yeah. mine. So, all right. So what do we think? Now you know, seeing it in person. Now seeing it in person, I'm back to liking right. it. Okay. I got I to gotta work on getting a close-up of that baby. Let can me we? see what. Oh, we can do anything. Oh, yeah. We got the new camera system. It'll be like a miracle. Just get the good angle. Of you or the shirt? The shirt. Oh, yeah. See? I yeah. think that. Oh, now yep. you're moving there out you of go. the camera shot. Yep. We can zoom in some that's, more. That's the shirt. Oh, it's beautiful. And that's the 
That's what it says, bro. Yep. Oh, keep the smoke rolling. I can read. So it's it's looks better on this camera than my <clears throat> camera. I must have. When you had originally sent me the pictures. Yep. When they were sitting on a table, I loved it. Then it had. Then when you had took the picture with, you know, this, you know, be, you being a sixteen-year-old little girl taking <laughs> selfies. Uh, to be honest, I hated it. Yep. I, I liked that. Okay, it works. We got one. But then I'm thinking, looking at it, and it's just, it had to have been the angle you were at that looked too unbalanced. So I was going to roll it, put it on the back, yep. that the pit life would be across the shoulder blades, and it'll look more even. But now seeing it literally in person, I'm back to liking how it is. And this doesn't actually seem more busy than I thought it did. Mm -hmm. So it was all the angle. You need to work on your photography. I do, Definitely. And you should just have to stop telling me about doing cock shots and <laughs> about <laughs> telling me how to take care of my knee skills. and worrying about <laughs> taking your selfie skills. Ed, did you just get a picture of my neck? Did you zoom in so far you got a picture of my neck there? Yeah, was that oh, bad? Geez, I, hope, I hope not. I don't know. Okay. Hey, I didn't see it. But I'm good. <laughs> Pe people will be cat capturing still frames and putting it on the social medias and what have you. Oh, right. yeah. So what, what's the deal today? What are we talking about today? I think we talk about rubs. Okay. And? 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 What about rubs? Why rubs? Okay. You know, obviously, you, you talk about you, oh, what, what, what rub are you using? What rub are you using? What, you know, what's the seasonings you got going on? What's the seasonings you got? You, da, 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 da. you know, why? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, it's a flavoring. Yep. Seasoning, you know, sort of a dry marinade, so to speak, to, mm -hmm. a, to an extent. Correct. But, got me. you know... Why? Why? That's the big question. Okay. I, not to change quick, but I'll change quick. You always do. I know. I went to a place in uh, Tampa. It was a trailer in a church parking lot um, on the side of the road. and uh, We're talking rub, not I know, meth. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But uh, we got ribs, chicken, uh, pulled pork. I um, believe that was it for the, for the proteins. He used no rub. All he used was wood. Really? Didn't rub any of his meat, just threw it in, let the wood do its flavoring, and it was it was excellent. You know, it was it was done right. Um, could I have ever done that? Probably not. You know, I, I swear by rubs. Mm -hmm. Um and I mean I think rubs are are the most important ingredient, you know, obviously with, with smoking or grilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I'm with you on that. Yeah. I mean, typically what I do is I make up a big old batch of Dr. Barbecue's recipe was Ray Lampy. Oh, Ray Lampy. Ray Lampy. Yep. He's got a good recipe for a rub. It's pretty standard stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like anything else, you just tweak it to what you like. So I like a little more cayenne in there. Cayenne? Yeah, the cayenne. <laughs> there we go. But, you know, for me, a, a rub should have plenty of sweetness yes. from the sugar plus that heat. And mm -hmm. that really makes it pop. And I'm not a big fan of cumin. Yeah. I mean, it's just, to me, it tastes yeah. like sweat. <laughs> okay. If you think about it. <laughs> okay. It tastes sort of like, if you smell it, it smells okay. kind of like sweat. So, so I go a little lighter. I won't, I won't, sweat. I won't go there. I was going to go somewhere, but yeah, don't. Not, not appropriate. Family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> you don't want to get taken down by anybody. Uh, I, I mean, I'll say, I, I swear by, if, when I, when I do stuff now, and um, I mean, I have Malcolm stuff. Um, yeah. I have Dan Wright stuff. But if I'm like the other night, we did pork chops and I did them on the Blackstone. Um, all I did was salt, pepper, garlic, mm -hmm. and which is which is which comes out to it is pretty much an the initial purpose. basis of any rub. Yeah, or well, even an all-purpose is mostly salt, pepper, garlic, and then you know, a couple little like Ed things said, yeah. tweaking well, whatever just else. Two weekends ago, I just got some bone-in chicken breast. I just I had the rub all made up. I smothered it in that, you know, got it all cooked up nice, nice, and then just finished it with sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Oh, you're, and you're killing me. It was it was delicious. Me? You know, what was he killing you? Did you not have any messy Mike's barbecue sauce? Or you just you, you know, know you never you've only brought two <laughs> bottles and they're still hiding behind the corner. I know, here. I know. I, I would love I know, to I try it. it. I, you right. should maybe sell it. <laughs> I should maybe sell it. <laughs> I mean, I know you <laughs> have it. If you only had an avenue I to push it. I, I yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. It's like huh. <laughs> okay, Mike's upset. I don't have it. Well, you got to sell it for you're people to get it. You're right. I mean, everyone should have it, And I never, I never gave you a bottle? No. You're kidding me. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. I and apologize. I need the hot, even though you won't make it hot enough. Okay. Well, take this one. 
Take that yeah, one. Just take that one. <laughs> Does that uh, got an expiration date on it, Johnny? <laughs> I don't think so. It's been a good base. You're good. Does Dave want to sell barbecue sauces at you guys? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Listen, um, we're finally getting the T-shirts getting here. They're, okay? they're actually, um, there is going to be, I was actually just talking to a gentleman today. Um, he's got a hybrid of, um, well, he doesn't, a, fr- a friend of his does. He has a hybrid of, um, I don't know what peppers they are. He's probably watching now, Dave. Um, but we were kind of just talking, and uh, it's a hybrid, but it's a million Scoville units hotter than the Carolina Reaper. Hmm. What? Yep. Yep. He lives in. He lives local. Um, he's on the New England Pitmasters page, but he he's a he does a ton of hybrid stuff. Um, getting the pollinating different um, peppers to to just go with hot and hot and hot. And he's got a. Um, a hybrid that's supposed to be a million Scoville units hotter than the, the Carolina Reaper. So, you know, you know what I'm sick of? What? Scoville units. <laughs> I mean, people get so fixated. How about flavor? Yes. You know, yep. and for well, let me, me, let me tell you from that chocolate, yeah. once you get to the two million Scoville, you don't have there is flavor. flavor. That's just it. When I step above a habanero, I, I lose the taste. Habanero has a fruitiness to yep. it that yep. you can distinguish. Oh, that's habanero. When you get to the really hot stuff, it's just no. gone. And I think habanero is my threshold. Anything hotter than that, I'm a mess. How about some grilled shrimp with a mango habanero? habanero. Oh, that's some good eating. Yep. Johnny's even writing that down. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Johnny doesn't I'll write care. something else down that I you need so I didn't forget. You know what I did this weekend? Um, know. We had an event at um, Apollo Vineyards, which is a winery and dairy, and um, we did. I, I pre-smoked sausages, Italian sausages, and uh, smoked them for like 45 minutes to an hour, um, and then I used Dan's right rub and just did a little bit on the peppers and onions um, and did those on the black. I don't want to keep saying the Blackstone, but <laughs> I brought that to the event, you know, yeah. and uh did them up. It's a tool of the trade now. Exactly. It, it's it's part and of the arsenal. The, the flavor profile with the smoked but sweet sausages. You know, just that little smoke flavor, but the right rub in the in the peppers and onions. Yeah. It was insane. It was off the charts. It was awesome. So yeah. I just have to say Cause, that. Because that's the other thing with, with, with the different types of rubs you got out there. You know, whether you want to call them rubs, seasonings, you know, whatnot. They're all rubs. Comes yep. back. It all depends on how much you want to put on whatever you're cooking. Mm-hmm. But a lot of them are very so versatile, you know. Like you were saying, you added that to the uh, the peppers and onions. You know, I know he had Dan has a bunch of recipes out there with, like a like a uh, like a uh, cream cheese dip, like a cheese dip. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, he he has the cream cheese. He adds the his AP in there, and it's phenomenal. You know, you can add the rubs aren't necessarily. Just for barbecue anymore. Well, no. and even for barbecue, you know, if you choose to make your own sauce, even if you don't, I always like to get a little bit of the rub I'm using in, in the, the barbecue soup. sauce. Not to overpower it, but just mm-hmm. comp- to complement yeah. the rub that's on the meat. 100%. I think every sauce should have um, a little bit of the rub that you're putting on the meat yeah. um, in it. Yeah, I yep. think it, it helps layer the flavors and blend a little bit. It's nice. Now yeah. what? Now what do you think about what's your um, take on salt and peppering, or at least definitely salting the meat before putting applying a rub on? You know, uh, uh, the rub I use has quite a bit of mm-hmm. salt in it, so I don't typically salt before. So even if it's a big piece of meat, the you know, okay. I'm always in a hurry. Mike. Okay. Well, I'm just saying because some people say pre-salt it if it's yeah. a big piece of meat because that salt will well, absorb into the meat. Yeah, and, and then well, actually, it'll draw some moisture out, too, which will help mm-hmm. your rub adhere to it a little bit better. Yep. But I don't have patience. Okay, same here. <laughs> same here. <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't got to tell me. I'm well aware of your patience level. Patience. <laughs> or lack <laughs> and, thereof. Uh, patience level slash attention span. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, but... He says yes, but he forgets what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a dog. <laughs> Hold on. I don't, like dog, I don't yeah. want to change the subject, but I'm going <laughs> to. You know. But when I'm on my So element. I'm doing this brisket, and next thing you know, you know, Mary had a little lamb. Mm. And, where the hell are you going? <laughs> then, did you ever find a feather in your chicken? <laughs> no, only on a turkey. <laughs> but when I'm in my element. <laughs> yeah, you're on. I'll give you that. All right. I'll give you that. Let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. I 
attention cigar smokers or even friends of cigar smokers. If you're looking to relax with a nice premium cigar or looking for a great gift for a cigar smoker, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Our friends at TwoGuysCigars.com have created the Cigar of the Month Club. For just $24.99 per month, you or your friend that you're gifting will receive four premium handmade cigars every month, and shipping and handling is included. Go to TwoGuysCigars.com, that's the number TwoGuysCigars.com, and find the Cigar of the Month Club in the menu and sign up. It's that easy. You can stop at any time, but you won't. There's no contract. It is just a tremendous deal. Go to TwoGuysCigars.com, that's the number TwoGuysCigars.com, find the Cigar of the Month Club, and sign up. At the same time, if you want to learn about the cigars you receive each month, you can smoke along with them on their own podcast called The Cigar Authority. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice premium cigar from our friends at TwoGuysCigars.com. I know, I see. I know. And we're back. back. What, we, you back with us? I'm back with you. You on chat room? I know who's in the chat room. I'm watching. <laughs> okay. Mr. Keep my chin up. I got to run the chat room, too. I hear you. I Sunshine. Hear you. I hear you. And don't worry, I will be reaching out to that particular gentleman okay. I'm just about co-host. hopefully being able to take some time to do, come and join us, because yep. I think that'll be a great conversation. 100%. So... Robbie, if you haven't figured out, we're talking about you, pal. <laughs> What's up, Rob Royal? Um, so, talking about rubs, um, you you actually found some um, something today. I found it very interesting. Well, it's not today. I, I received an email from him back. I emailed him the other day. But as, you know, the different groups were in New England Pit Masses, ours, you know, Barbecue Beer Bosses, you know, all the... All the group, Facebook groups that you jump into, mm-hmm. you know, the Blackstone groups also a lot with the Blackstones because it's a lot of seasoning. Mm-hmm. One that keeps popping up in my fee- uh, feed is this company out of New York, um, Tacticalories Seasoning Company. Pretty, uh, pretty cool name. It jumps out at you because yep. you're thinking tactical and calories, you know, and I, got, I had reached out to them the other day. To possibly have them on because, like I said, their ads on Facebook, and I looked at their page real quick. It is really interesting. There's not a whole lot of background on it. Mm-hmm. I'm going out on a limb on my own of just, you know, just the name Tactic Calories. I don't know if he's, you know, current military, you know, retired military, you know. Or if he's just, you know, tactical, that, so yeah, it's, that it's, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it jumps but, out at you, but it's, it's, it doesn't make you think of a seasoning company. It doesn't make you season, but, you know, I like how they did it, tactic calories. Yeah. So it's a, it's a healthier brand of seasonings from what I can see. Mm-hmm. But what really caught my mind is pretty much every order is made to order. Correct. So there's nothing sitting in a warehouse. Yeah. You know, so if you, the, um, you know, the description on the page says, whatever order you have, when you receive it, you have no, you know that it is guaranteed to have been ground within five days of you receiving that product. Are you, are you conducting an orchestra here? Dude, I'm still trying to (laughs) deal with the knee. knee. (laughs) Listen, the cortisone works. But there's still pressure, so the knee is I still. I got you. So you're just trying to take. Me. Okay, I got so you. So I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to distract my knee from <laughs> Johnny's schooling you right now, dude. Yes. Not for nothing. I'm sweating now. You know, like I said, this uh, knee is driving me nuts. It is warm in here. Too. It is a little warm today, but but yeah, it seemed everything is is pretty much made to order from what I can mm-hmm. find. And then Casey Body, he's the CAO. Mm-hmm. CEO. CEO. I'm thinking cigars. cigars. CAO cigars. <laughs> CEO of the company. Yep. Get he, your mind out of the cigars, Johnny. I can't help myself. Yeah, I know. He uh, he emailed me back this morning, obviously being back and forth with the doctors, trying to get myself cleared yep. to get back to the grind. Um, he's um, he actually threw. He'd love to come on. He said that uh, actually next Tuesday was the date he actually threw out really? that would be good for him. Okay. So I just need to touch base with him, 
you know, to confirm it and get the Zoom set up and everything. Yeah. So I'm hoping next week we'll have Casey on from Tacticalories Seasoning Company and have us have him give us the full rundown because I really found it really interesting. And anybody who's watching or listening, check it out because oh, that, it really. Uh, because you looked real quick and you were like, "Whoa, wow!" It's marketing. Wait a it's marketing towards like you know just dudes. I mean, you know the the labeling. Um, look, look up some of the. But also, it says so. Like you said, it's made to order, so it, it's guaranteeing. I think um, no rub is um, within five days. A rub is made and sent out to you. Yeah. So nothing is sitting ever. Right. So if you you look at that, how many rubs? I mean, how long do rubs sit on the shelves, and how many rubs that you order well, are made to order for you? Sure, and even if I'm making it at home myself, mm -hmm. okay, well, how old is Correct. each of the, you know, I think it's like 16 different things I put in there. How old well, are Oh, yeah, you're going through these? your spice cabinet, and, it, and you know, right. give me some garlic salt. Okay, that's Se been sitting there for a year. Uh, celery. Well, yeah. My you sister know. has stuff in her in her cabinet. What is it? 2019 now. She's some of the stuff is 2014 in her cabinet. Okay, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead serious. Spices, nothing of that can get right. people now, sick. Right. I will say mm -hmm. it's not going to harm anyone, but they lose their potency really pretty rapidly. So if you think of it, how many pallets out there know exactly what a fresh, fresh spice rub tastes like compared to what is out there on right. the shelves? Yeah, it's going to be a very minuscule number mm -hmm. unless you are literally going to a farmer's market and you're buying some of the stuff and That's, bringing it home yeah. and grinding it, drying it, drying yourself it first, first. Yep. <laughs> then grinding it yourself, yep. and the, that's the freshest you're going to get. Yeah, but no, because it's just and, and especially and, uh, in the barbecue world, there's so much stuff. And so much stuff we love and try with this and this. You know, I'll only use a certain thing on a brisket. I'll use this on a uh, pork butt. Use this on ribs. You know, I have my array of different things I use on different proteins. Correct. You know, but that, but some of the stuff, like I said, on, on the page, it was just catching my eye. I forget the name. He has a taco seasoning. Yeah. And I can't remember the damn name of it. But it jumps at you. It's like, oh, that's got to be good. My, my wife is somebody who reads every package for expiration dates. So, you know, when she goes to make a, a recipe, she'll check the spices. Up, oh, got to get more of this and toss them out, which drives me a little crazy. I mean, hey. you know, you get this whole thing of best if used by. Well, that's yeah. just an opinion. But that's it's if not, used by. It's not going to hurt you in any way. Correct. It's just like we directions. Were actually to, All we were directions actually, are is another man's opinion. <laughs> well, we were actually just talking about that this past weekend. Best if used by, like milk. You know, everybody's so nervous. Right. Well, when does stuff it, and, if well, it's an expiration date, yeah. then, yeah, it could be harmful to you Correct. consuming it after that date. Best if used by yep. is their opinion Suggested. that maybe you should go buy some new stuff and throw away the after perfectly this good stuff. Date. <laughs> yep. 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 You know. Well, I had a rub question. Go ahead. So, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Brisket? Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's leave the rub aside. I have rub. Let's say that, okay? I put it on there. Do I let it sit for a while? Do I? Do some people? I think some rewrap it and let it sit for quite a while. I mean, what? What's your opinion on the best approach? I will say whatever you want to do. I mean, you have some people out there. I mean, I would let it sit to at least get to room temperature. Yep. And then you know that we that way the rub kind of seeps in a little bit. I'd yeah. even maybe sprinkle a little more rub before I put it on. Yep. Um, but you have yeah. some people out there that if they're doing a lot of meat yep. or a lot of the same meat, they'll put it on frozen or partially frozen. That way it cooks evenly. Yeah. Well, and I've seen people put it on and wrap it even in saran wrap. And, and let it let go it overnight. Sit. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I think my approach is like yours. Okay, it's coming out of the fridge. Put the rub on and leave it there. <clears> let <throat> it come to room temperature, which, by the way, most people never do. It takes yeah. quite a while for yes, uh, especially yeah. a piece of meat that size to come to yeah, it. I'll, I'll take my briskets, you know, you know, take it out, trim it up, right. then I'll rub it down. Yeah, it's not 10 minutes. It's no, hours. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you know, that's what I think people get nervous, too. Yeah. Because they don't when want is it going to start rot? Well, you're going to cook it to a high enough temperature yeah. where it's not an issue anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll let it sit there. Then I'll go out and I'll get my chimneys going. I'll get the smoker fired up, get all that rolling. And that whole time, it's bringing up to room temperature, the the rubbing season is getting, you know, sucking it in a little bit, you know, adhering, you know, add a little bit more to it. 
Then by the time the whole press, like the process, like you said, it's well over an hour. Mm-hmm. So then the pitch good, and away we go. Sometimes you'll like coddle it to get it like. Oh yeah, I'll quicker, I'll, yeah. I'll talk nice to it. I'll <laughs> you know give it an extra little massage. Get you know especially if I inject because then I like to massage, get that injection right. a little bit more through in there. So you like to really go in and. Rub this oh, rub absolutely. right in there. It gets in all the muscles. Gets yeah. in there. You know, <laughs> become one with my meat. I think some <laughs> people are too dainty. You know, let me yeah. sprinkle some rub. But you got to oh, yeah. get in there. Some get people, in there. Get in there. Some people rough. like, don't touch it. You know, just sprinkle it. Don't pat it in. You just well, want it to touch the top of it. I don't know. It, everybody... It's- Seems to treat chicken now like it's toxic waste. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, Robbie Royal <laughs> in the chat room. Yes, Robbie Royal, the rescue for smokers. Yep. Whoa. You know, thank you for, for following us. And, gr- you know, from the interviews I've seen, a great guy. Mm-hmm. Awesome guy. Uh, he says uh, two to three hours max. That way the rub doesn't draw all the moisture out right. with brisket or any meat. You know, so you can let it let it sit there yeah. and take hold of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let it do its thing. Right, because yeah, I mean, a lot. Well, most have a pretty high amount of salt in it, and that if it's it's too especially long, if it's, it's brisket too. Yeah, it is going to start drawing some of the moisture out of the meat. Mm-hmm. And like with chicken, I mean, like you said, chicken. I I I don't like dealing with chicken, <laughs> but um, I mean, like especially with chicken wings. I don't really do the half chickens. Um, if I'm doing chicken thighs, you know my method, so whatever. But um, if we're doing chicken wings, I'll actually put the, I'll I'll rub them with mayo, yeah. and then I'll put them on the smoker, and then I'll dust them, and then I'll smoke them for about 45 minutes, turn them, do it again, and then I'll finish the smoking process. So that's so how I do. You're not going to get in with your pinky and start rubbing it. No, because I feel like when I do the mayo, and then if I do the rub, gotta watch out for the feathers. Too. Turns into you know a goop. Yeah. Yep. So I just like the mayo because I, for me, it, it instead well, of brining them, it just yeah, it keeps them. And the point is too with the mayo, then it's really going to the rubble adhere yep. much better to those yep. chicken wings, and it gives you a little crispiness instead of using the cornstarch. So, yep. And what's your mayo application method? Do you brush it on or how? I get real in there. Do you just throw get a big vat of mayo and no, um, wings? Usually, in it? so usually if it's um, you'll buy a forty pound or. If you're going to um, BJ's and you get that one package, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six packs of five, mm-hmm. so it's like thirty wings or whatever. Mm. I'll just take a um, like a good sized tablespoon and just and then just a work dollop. It in. Yeah, you don't need a you don't need a lot. All right. Um, and then I'll kind of just eye it. You know, you just want to see a, a thin film on it. Yeah, um, you're just looking for more of a binder for it than yeah. You know, you're not slathering. Yeah, we're not going out with white sauce. You're not making a roast beef sandwich <laughs> and that's things yeah. that bun's and getting that, covered. Then you got to call in a whole decontamination team because it's chicken. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Chicken <laughs> and mayo. My and wife. The, oh. oh god, <laughs> it's a wonder that we're not all dead. That's it. Hey, <laughs> believe me, we've tried. We've done enough stupid stuff, and we're still here. Little but, mayo and chicken ain't gonna get us. But then for for pork or pulled pork, um, I don't know if a lot of people do this, but uh, you know, you th- you throw your rub on, you smoke it, and then. Whether you pull it and let it sit there to you know have people serve it, or you pull it to order, um, I'll always take the seasoning, the rub that I use to season it. I'll always dust a little bit before I serve it. Or if I'm putting it in a in a steam table, um, I'll always do a little apple cider vinegar and a little rub and mix it in. And that way, it, it keeps it moist, but you also have that kind of like little punch. Yep, yep. Um, that reminds me of saying. I can't remember who said it. I know I heard it from my friend Steve Ray at the Owl's Nest Barbecue Show. And he had said who had, where he had heard of it. And just remember, the last thing you put on that protein is the first thing the people are going to taste. Correct. Mm-hmm. So that's where like the, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, finishing dust. Finishing or, salt. Finishing yeah. salt. Yep. Especially on chicken wings. Especially yeah. on the chicken wings. You yep. want to get that nice little... Little pop of flavor in there, but mm-hmm. well, yeah, Steve. Steve, I, I heard it from Steve Ray. I just can't remember who he. It said. was that gentleman. It was that he had gentleman. On the gentleman. No, it wasn't the what well, gentleman he had on. Okay, that I that I know. Okay, that man was not a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, that was that's one of the things with with the final 
you know, finishing dust. And you don't, and you still want to taste the meat, but you mm-hmm. want it, you want it to complement the meat. So, you know, and I always do it just because if it's sitting in a steam table, yeah, um, it will tend to dry out a little bit. So I always keep monitoring it with apple cider vinegar because I don't want to, I don't want to put barbecue sauce on it. You know, um, apple cider vinegar and, and rub. And that way, it's, it's keeping it, and the rub is actually tenderizing it a little bit as it sits in the steam table. Um, but once you go the sauce route, now it's yeah, it's just going to be sauce. I mean, and why keep adding ingredients to leftover t- ingredients to make it taste Typically, I'll go much spicier on the rub and then complement it with a sweeter barbecue sauce. Like sweet baby rays? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, great. that's a great... I mean, when, yeah, when he, you, he, he has he, to use Sweet Baby Ray's because he doesn't know anybody else who has a barbecue well, sauce. Well, when you don't have access to it, how you will have barbecue sauce it? Tuesday. <laughs> Actually, is, is there any over there? There's two bars. Right. There's an original. I'm and giving a you two barbecue here. sauces tonight. After the show, I After get barbecue show, yes. sauce. All right, I'll All right. use it too. And they will. I will. They will be available. But I'm, I better check the <laughs> expiration date. Oh, or my, my wife will throw it away as soon as I get home. <laughs> They're aged. <laughs> Just scrape them off. Yeah. She, they won't know. No, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's She'll good. say, what, what did you bring this home for? Right in the trash? <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's good. I did find a new store. Which one? Have you been up to oh! the outlets lately? The Which Merrimack you? outlets? Not lately. There's a new store up there called the Pepper Palace. Yes, Ooh. there's one in Rentham. So they must be going into all the outlets. outlet stores. Yep. Have you been I've there? I've heard of it. Okay, you haven't been there. You haven't. Um, okay. One of the guys from New England Pit Master had posted about it. Should we take a pilgrimage? So then I looked into it. I think there. we have to go take a pilgrimage mm-hmm. up there. Okay. And I think it might be a company we might want to talk to. Okay. No, now, we'll, is it a... Go ahead. What are they selling there? Correct. That's what I was going to ask. Uh, rubs, seasonings, Peppers. sausage... Sausage. Sausage? Sausage? Oh, I like Christ. that. It's the pain, man. I swear to God. <laughs> peppers. Um, peppers, hot sauces. Pickles. For, probably have pickles. <laughs> you know, they have to season the spicy ones, stuff like that. They're going to have a ton of stuff if they're going to fill one of those stores. Right, and it's probably a good-sized store. Oh, yeah. So it's probably like a superstore. So, yeah, let's, let's check We're it gonna out. We're going to have to check that out. Yeah. I don't, if you have guys have... Any, I, I don't even know who the, does Simon own them or are they just the malls? I don't know who owns those. Like Simon Cowell? No, no, <laughs> Simon Mall. No, that, that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know who, but the, the, yeah. the outlet stores, like you the know, premium the premium outlets. Outlet, premium outlets. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so I don't even know if that might be nationwide. Obviously the same stores, mm-hmm. you know, but if you, if you guys do have uh, an outlet store, shopping center around you, check that out. See if you got one by you and check it out. Because we're going to be taking a pilgrimage up there. It's the Pepper Palace. Maybe I'll bring my sauces there. Maybe bring How's your that? sauces huh? there. Huh? Drop, two, huh? drop a couple oh. off here and so Ed, on Now your I'm up. not getting them, or you have <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll give you those. Ones. Well played, those. Ed. Well played. <laughs> I need those back in. <laughs> I, I'm going to be needing those. But, all right, let's wrap this up, because nice. this, this brother's got to go ice up, son. All right. But um, Good luck on everything. Yeah, and let's... Um, let's Try and take care of that this week. Yeah, we're going to try to catch that. I'm going to get in touch with Casey about it. Yeah, check out Calories. Tack season. Calories. Check out the website. To join us next week. Um, but that's it for this week, folks. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. You can catch the video on Facebook and YouTube. Catch the audio on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, Spreaker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Himalaya, and other podcast catches on social media. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at PitLifeBBQ. We'd love to hear from you. Please send your questions and comments to podcast at gmail.com. And like always, please subscribe, like, rate, and review. Hit that share button, spread the word. And if you want a shirt, let us know. Dead serious. We're going to work on so, that. We even try to get trying to figure this out. So. going up. Yep. Because it's time for the swag, boys. Time for the swag. But uh, I'm going to go ice up. You're going to do whatever it is you do. Ed's going to haul off and get this out to all of our <laughs> listeners. Thanks, to Ed, every week. And uh, until next week, keep, keep the, the smoke, smoke rolling. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.